Hey there, it's Jen Blatz from Blatz Chats, and I heard about a new tool today called Hugging Face. I'm not really a new tool adopter kind of gal, but I thought I would give it a whirl and see how it goes. Let's check out this new tool called Hugging Face. <laughs> I'm going to upload a photo of myself and see if I can get it to work. Oh, so look at that. As soon as I uploaded the photo, it completely changed. Interesting. Oh, look. What I did was I was dragging my mouse. I kind of clicked on it. I dragged my mouse a little bit. And it's moving my face. See, I'm dragging my cursor over and it's moving my face. Very interesting. To be honest, I don't think this really looks like me anymore, but it's a little slow to render, and it's a very interesting look. Who will say? Let me see what happens if I, oh, right, look at that. I dragged over the eye, and it made my eye close. Whoa, what else can I do? Can I move my, oh, I dragged up on the mouth and it made me open my mouth. So let me see if I can open the eyes again. I was dragging up on the left eye and not only did it reopen my eyes, but it had me looking in a certain direction. So I'd like to know what I can do with my mouth. I'm kind of dragging down. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> another photo. Let's try a famous person that many of us know, Steve Jobs. Let's see if I can manipulate the photo of Steve Jobs that I found. Okay, I haven't even touched anything. Just by putting it in here, you saw it change. It moved the image. So let's try to turn his head. Oh, look, I'm dragging cursor and it made his head look up a little bit and now he's looking the other direction. Pretty amazing. There's a little funkiness going out on over here on the right side of his head, but look at this. This is pretty cool. All right. What do we want to do? I don't know. Let's mess with his mouth a little bit. Let's, oh, I dragged it a little bit across his mouth. And look, now I've made his mouth. He looks surprised. Let's open his eyes a little bit. Oh, no, I'm dragging up and it's making his eyes close. Okay. I guess I don't really have control over what it's going to do. It certainly doesn't feel that way. Let me drag over him again because I want his eyes open. Oh, making him more closed. Okay, so a little funkiness. I'm trying to turn his head the other way. Look, it's doing, I'm, I'm looking, I'm moving his head over, way over. It made him super skinny. And I think at this point, doesn't really look like Steve Jobs much anymore, does it? <laughs> look, his, his glasses are even weird. They're kind of falling off on his left eye. And this one's like, mm, totally not the shape that it was. And look at his Adam's apple over here. It's on the side of his head. This is fascinating. Okay, I'm gonna move his head back and see what happens. Okay, if you move it back, it starts to look a little normal. Now I just clicked on it and it kind of bounced over to the angle that he was looking at. All right, are you ready for round three? I know I am. Again, this tool is called Hugging Face and I'll put a link to it in the description so that you can play around with this yourself. And I would love for you to share your image that you create maybe even a before and after in a comment. That would be really awesome. Okay, this is a famous person in the news a lot these days. So let's see what happens when we play around with a picture of Donald Trump. Choosing a photo, here we go. All right, now I'm going to load it in and I'm not gonna touch anything. And look, it kind of bounced and did this weird like, almost as if he stood up straight and tall. I, I gotta mess with the hair. Oh, that is interesting. It took like, I don't know, 50 pounds off of him. He looks completely different. I was dragging up from the hair and wow, this doesn't even look like him at all anymore. To me, it kind of looks like a farmer. I don't know why, but it just does. Let's drag this back down to make it look a little more normal and see if we could get it back. All right. That looks a little bit more like the Donald Trump that we might be more familiar with. Let's mess with his mouth a little bit, see what happens. I wanna make it bigger. All right, it's as if he's talking. I don't know if his teeth are really this big. Maybe they are. Let's mess with his eyes. Oh, see, it's funny. 
I had tried to drag them open, but what it does is it really drags them closed. So there doesn't seem to be a lot of options to do with the eyes. Let's try this again. I'm going to try to open them. There we go. It's opening them a little bit. I don't know. So it looks like them, I guess, but you can't really see these eyeballs. I guess we're kind of limited on how big their eyes can get. I think I'm going to go to this side. I dragged across the eyes and it just made them sh shut the... So I'm not sure of the results. I'm going to grab this big ear right here. Oh, whoa. So I grab this ear on his right side and look... <laughs> look what it has done to this photo. It's completely chopped his hair. I'm not really sure what's happening. Let's drag it back and see what happens. Okay, suddenly we're transforming back into a wider normal size head. I'm going to drag his lefty over this direction and see what happens. Wow. Okay, there's this weird pink hair coming into the back. I don't look like Elvis here with a really long chin. I don't know. It's kind of funny. Let's drag him back to the middle. See what happens. He's still got these big teeth on his mouth. I don't know. Can I make his mouth big? Not really. Let me drag on his upper lip, see what happens there. Okay, I dragged on his upper lip and it brought his mouth down a little bit. I'm going to try to drag from the middle of his nose, drag him looking up, see if anything happens. Nope, doesn't want to give me uh, looking up. Let me try dragging from his chin. Ooh, so I'm dragging from his chin. Okay, I lied. I said I was going to do one more photo, but I wanted to try an animal. To see how that works. So I went and got Boo the dog. Do you all remember Boo the dog? Super, super cute. Yes. Okay, when I put the dog in, it, it shifted a little bit. I don't know if you noticed that. And now I'm dragging his face over. And as I drag, it's getting a little weird. Boo's kind of melting a little bit. Strange. Oh, he's starting to look almost human. So weird. I'm just dragging back, but nothing's really happening. When I was working on the Donald Trump photo, when I just dragged without clicking and dragging, it was changing back. So let's drag his head up. Oh, okay. Popped it up to the side here. Now, mouth's kind of falling apart. Things are going really weird, but I don't know. To me, his eyes look, it's almost starting to look human. So this hugging face has a little bit of a interesting interpretation of what it should do with a face. Just kind of dragging up to the right end. Okay, should we try one last person? I think that we should. Now, one thing I noticed is I used a screenshot, a ping, PNG. That didn't seem to work. So I'm not sure if hugging face is limited to JPEGs or what, but I tried to use a ping and nothing happened. So I found the same image and saved as a JPEG and I'm bringing it in now. This is for all my Taylor Swift fans out there. For you Swifties, here you go. Look at that. Bounce back. Already looks a little weirder. Looks a little older. Let's see what happens when... Oh, there goes the eyes. By default, it seems to just shut the eyes. That's not very fun. Trying to open the eyes back up. Oh, there we go. It takes a couple drags, but I was able to open the eyes back up. Now let's drag her face over. Oh, I'm turning her head. Kind of dragging it to the right. And it turned her head. I mean, it's effective. Oh, I'd like her head to turn side to side rather than like kind of tilting it. But let me try grabbing her nose and seeing. Nope, that just makes her eyes shut. Let me grab her lips, see what happens. Oh, now is she got a big mouth, but her eyes are still closed. I'm not a big fan of the eyes being closed, but okay, whatever. Let's try to open her eyes back up. There we go. She looks a little bored now. I wonder if I can drag her head the other way. Okay, so I'm pulling on the top of her hair and it made her eyes go up a little bit. Oh, I wonder if, what would happen. Oh, I'm dragging on her shoulder. That's where I was dragging over her right shoulder and it's making her turn her head completely over her right shoulder. Very interesting. Let's see if we can drag her head back. Okay. Dragging her head back. Her hair's getting a little blurry and less effective, but I mean, it's still kind of her. Her right nostril's a little funky, but. And I can't seem to drag it much the other way. Maybe it's because her face is already looking off to the side. And so we're limited on what we can do. So, okay, I'm trying to lift. I was trying to lift her chin and it's just making her mouth so bigger. I don't know what happened to her teeth. Her teeth are gone. Wonder, I'm trying to, whoa. Okay, so I was dragging her head, her forehead and whoa, it's doing some funky stuff. Wow, that was a lot of fun. Why don't you play around with hugging face and let me know how it goes for you in the comments. Bye.